I am working for the municipality of Schleft and has, has been working with education development most of my life, first as a teacher and, and a school leader and then as an educational strategist at Campus Schleft and a researcher and so on. And I will tell you about this European level project. Where do we have? Yes. Oops. Yes. The, uh, Albats is a part of the European Skills Agenda 2015 on developing sectoral cooperation on skills, which is one of the actions there. From 2020, also a, a part of, of the Pact for Skills initiative. These are quite important. I'll tell you a little more later. Albats is a so-called European blueprint for sectoral cooperation. The, 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 the Commission it identifies each year four or five important branches of industry or business that needs, needs to, to, to update the, their educational structures and identify new emerging ro job roles and things like that. And this has to be described and worked are together on etc. On the other side, the, the European Union and Commission does not have a say in the national educational systems. This is, is for for inspiration, for benchmarking, for so-called soft policy. But, but education is is of course extremely important for for, for forming development. Albat stands for Alliance for Batteries, Technology, Training, and Skills, and it's. A blueprint is a kind of combination of best practice and action plan for, for a, a sector here. And uh, Albats is st still the uh, the only blueprint that that is coordinated from from Sweden and so on. And th this is the symbol for the new skills agenda from 2015 and the updated from from 2020, where the so-called pact for skills is the big action and we are a part of that as well now, but I'll tell you more later. Here you see our 20 partners from 11 countries that are working together in this project about batteries and electromobility education. We are four universities, five vocational education providers, some regions and cities and research institutes and companies and the Northwold is one of our partners and so on. We are rather well spread over Europe, but we don't have partners from Germany, France and Spain. And this is quite common because they are big economies, they make their own projects and so on. But we have networked very well in, in, in Germany and France and have many collaboration contacts there. This is our steering group. And, and so on, and we have a, a rather conventional work package structure. I'll tell you more about that here later. Uh, in short, there are two big questions we are working with. First, what's really going on? And th this is really important because uh, educational providers as universities and vocational school often design education out of what they already know themselves and what teachers they have and, and so on. But in these projects, it's the meaning of making very deep studies of how things are working, where they are going and what's needed. And it's not enough to just ask companies either. They, it has to be a kind of catalyst a bit, a between in some way. And, and we call that sectoral intelligence. We have three work packages working with that, making a, a, lot, a lot of reports every year here in our four-year project. Well, the, the second big question is then, how can we address the identified education and training needs from this of what is going on? And this what is going on question, the content of that I will come to. And, uh, basically, uh, we 
we study in detail the intelligence in stationary and industrial battery applications and in mobile battery applications in work package three then we draw, draw conclusions and make analysis in the sectoral intelligence work package and we deliver the, the, that to our training and education section in reality we work synchronously and and together as as well and so on and we work of course with the whole value chain in both sectoral intelligence and training but we focus in education and training on on the, 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 the vocational and technician level of, of education because there are many other European research projects that work with master and PhD education and so on. So we don't, I don't have to, have to do that. Yes, this is just a slide about some recent maps over the battery value chain and different parts of it in in Europe. We have been making these kind of maps, but it came now recently from from a, in our sectoral skills strategy or our sectoral intelligence work. We we have a big stakeholder data database about 400 organizations that we commute, communicate with we identify technologies stakeholders emerging technologies uh, global context and new, or and above all new job roles and skills and so on and we make one round round of desk research surveys and expert workshop every year and form that into reports we have about 20 rather mass massive and specialized reports on our, our websites. And uh, these are often rather long, but we have short, short, more popular versions of each as, as well, highlight uh, versions because uh, they can be tough to, to, to read. And, and what sectoral intelligence then, uh, th then delivers is, is a report ultimately about new skills needs, emerging job roles, new occupations, education and training needs, and above all the different gaps in education offerings and so on. And uh, the, we have our first version of a sectoral skills strategies for the battery and electric mobility sector online as well, and, and an updated version of that document will come, come soon. And uh, then, then in, in education and training, we have have a little different work we did not work very much from the beginning other one uh, otherwise than checking what was already there and and this with european structures for education development etc but we are now working with a new educational material that's missing and and so on with Trained, trained or trainer solutions, writing learning objectives, writing examples for, for course plans and, and then networking in the different ways. We have a, a pedagogical edge also. We work with so-called adaptive learning courses that form after the user. So if you know something already, you shouldn't have to learn that. If you have gaps in, in your learning, that will be identified, etc. We have a specialized Irish partner, I realize it, that works with, with this. And I will soon hear in Schleft, you have a first European teacher forum for, 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 for coming to, to teachers in the battery sector about 10 different countries will send three or four teachers each and will discuss about this very much with the help of, of books which education development we have supported this this automation operator etc et so the, the first teacher forum will come the second teacher forum will be about electric vehicles and electric mobility and so on and the, the, that will come in Czech Republic in February and will go on like this let's see yes so and 
uh, we are then expected to, to implement our results in the national educational systems. That's already on, ongoing, and we are all the times seeking contacts uh, around the new, new battery gigafactories, uh, for example, uh, that, that's uh, establishing uh, and, and more and more companies and regions uh, are, are contacting us as, as well. But, but we also need some way for our results to go on after the finished project. And we have been active in, in the so-called Pact for Skills. I, I will soon, soon, soon be there. We are expected in this project to, 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 to work along the European frameworks and, and European languages of education for countries being able to, to, to compare one with one another, etc. We are working especially much with the ESCO, the, the, the European database of occupation, as we want some new occupations and new skills to, to be listed there, etc. Yeah, here. We are also networking with a lot of other European wide initiatives that work with education in one way or the other. And I want to, to talk about every one of these. But among the, the, these, we are the only one that focuses on, on the adult and vocational level of, of, of education, etc. We have a kind of coordination group where all these projects and initiatives meet as well. And so on. This with Pact for Skills. Well, check up this. This is the new European initiative about a continuing ed education in, in all sectors. And the organizations are invited to, to sign the Pact for Skills ch ch charter document. And most. Uh, uh, Yes, well, uh, we have formed the Automotive Skills Alliance. That's the, the, that was the, the first and still the biggest industrial ecosystem within Pact for Skills. We have uh, about 90 partners there, and we are coordinating a, a, a better section in this. And I'll soon be ready. We have the uh, conference in Stuttgart next week, the first conference of, of this Automotive Skills Alliance that we have formed, et, et cetera. And uh, thank you. And check, I check in our, our website. We have a lot of resources there and about 15 expert workshops that are recorded on, on different specialized themes and communicate with us, please. Thank you.